Hello, my name is Jean-Christophe Chouna. Today we will learn the simplest way to start using Python today. So if you're just getting started and you know nothing about Python, Google Colab is your best tool that you can use to start doing Python because you don't have to install Python. In order to use Google Colab, all you need is a Gmail account. What Google Colab is, it's a free Jupyter notebook that you can run Python in the browser without any kind of configuration. So you can either go to my article and, and go to Google Colab this way, or you search, so, or you search on Google in order to get it. Um, so let's get started with Google Colab and understand what you can do with it. So first, what we can do is create a new notebook. The good point with the uh, Jupyter notebook is that you can comment your code using markdown syntax. So for instance, I can write, uh, this is my first Python tutorial. So now if I run this and I add a box of code, I can see I have added a title to uh, to my code. And then I can run Python code by saying print hello world. As simple as that. So you've, uh, just by doing this, you've already started to do uh, Python without installation or nothing. So this is very interesting, right? So let's see what else we can do with Python and Google Colab. And again, everything I'm going to show you today is there is inside this article. So let's zoom in a little bit. So in terms of text, you have many things you can do. You can do, this is an H2, this is an H3, and this is text. You can add a link like this. So you put in parentheses and HTTPS www.jcshwinar.com and then you run it and you can see that all of this will become uh, HTML once you run this. So what else can we do? So if we go in the code, um, Many times, if you do Python, you may enter the terminal and write uh, Python uh, like this. You could, uh, oops, Python tree, you could go here, you could write print hello, and then you would run this and you'll be that. You'd be done. When you want in Python to install stuff, you could say pip tree install or you could say pip tree list every single package i have installed so now you would have this but in order to to run the pip command you need to go in the terminal so in order to do this in command line all you need to do is you go with the exclamation point and then you are instantly interacting with the terminal so you can run this same command within um, within Colab which is a fantastic feature that is offered else what you can do you can also do pip list minus v and then what you want to do is you could use grep in order to find any package that contains tensorflow for instance so now you will see okay Yes, I have all these libraries that are pre-installed in, uh, in Python. So this is interesting. Uh, you may want to know what Python version you are, we are using. So if you want to know which Python is installed in, in, in Colab, you can see that it's Python 3.8.60. If you want to install a library that you don't have, all you could do is do pip install advert tools. And then you would be able to, to run, uh, da -da 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 -da. wait, wait, let's do this. You could be running import at ver tools. And then you, you could see that it has been installed in your library. 
Uh, okay, so enough with the nitty gritty. Let's try to understand a little bit what uh, what else you can do and what's on your left here. So here on your left, you have the table of contents. So you see, we use headings. We can easily move to our section by by going through the table of content. There is find and replace. So you could say text. I want to replace with text two, and then you text two for instance you could replace all and then it would be removed replaced everywhere uh they are the variables so variables what are python variables if you've never learned how python work uh this is just an introduction but you can add data to you could say variable one equal one so that or you could set up variable two equal hello or you could say variable three equals a list one, two, three. So essentially you can store stuff in the variables and then we, when, you, when you reference it, then you could know what the variable is storing. And what's interesting here is the variable uh, panel show you all the variables that you've stored. So essentially, if you you change your variable one and you change this to two, then you could kind of know that it still exists. It didn't create a, a second time. So maybe that was a bad idea to reuse the variable. Anyway, um, you have this file explorer right here on the left. Uh, What's interesting, we'll see a bit later, but essentially it's all the files that you have available in order to interact with. You have code snippets that I don't want to dive too much into. You have also um, search commands, so you can just say clear all, all output, for instance. Uh, so, so, so this is interesting. And, and finally, you have a you could have access to terminal, but you would need to sign up for a free version. Okay, let's shut down this. Another thing that is interesting uh, with another thing that is interesting with Google Colab is you can have free GPU. So if you're doing machine learning and you need extra capacity, you have free extra capacity by going to runtime, change runtime type, and you can use GPU or TPU, and then you would have free, uh, free GPU included. Probably one of the most important thing that you need to know in Colab is whenever I start a Colab, I would go mount drive. So Google Colab is a Google tool. So if you have Google Drive, you can store files in Google Drive. What if you want to get them from uh, Google Colab, then you could just say, um, you could just import from google.collab import drive and then what this allows you is to drive mount oops what this allows you to do is you write drive mount and you can say content drive and then by doing this what will happen is that you can connect to google drive accept you connect your account you say okay allow everything and then google collab now connects to your google drive so when you go into your file explorer let's wait that it's finished now it says mounted at google drive if you go to your file explorer you can now see your own google drive with your own files that you can start uh, importing straight up from uh, from google collab so this is it. Um, we could do a, a lot of Python, but we'll learn a lot more about Python in other tutorial. I just wanted to let you know, you can easily follow all the tutorials within this course uh, using Google Collab. Alternatively, you can use VS Code that I'm using, um, but it's completely okay to use Google Collab for this tutorial if you if, if that's what you prefer. Um, otherwise, feel free to install VS Code. So thank you very much for listening to, to this tutorial and uh, see you in the next one.